what's your elevator speech? I'm going to teach you how to do it, and I'm going to have you create an elevator pitch for what you're working on. And if you've been writing on your materials, it's okay. You can email us. We'll send you a fresh copy. So what's your elevator pitch? This is how it works. Imagine you got on an elevator, and suddenly somebody you really respect or is important is there. It could be... Um, it could be a student body president is there. It could be Obama, Barack Obama is there. It could be Brad, no, not Brad. It could be um, um, Captain America. Or, um, it could be um, Bill Gates. Bill Gates, or it could be um, Marion Wright Edelman, who's the leading child advocate with uh, Children's Defense Fund. I'd like to have her in my elevator, actually. So if you step on an elevator and suddenly Marion Wright Edelman or wherever you want to be there is there, what are you going to do? How many seconds do you have between one floor to the next? Anybody know? Ten. That's a fast elevator, two seconds. I don't know if I want to be on that one. Um, maybe I would. Um, but you have between 7 and 12 seconds. So even if you have 10 seconds, for example, that's enough for 20 words in English, about 30 words in Spanish, and 40, care, 40 words in Chinese. I have to know these things. So um, if you have 20 words, it's like the length of a tweet. What are you going to say to keep them on the elevator and not get off? From floor to floor. That's what an elevator pitch is. And you can teach it in three parts to little kids. Who I am. And what I care about, that's one floor. What I'm doing is the next floor and how you can help me. That's three, and little kids can do that. But let's look at a five-level elevator pitch. The first floor, as you look on your document, starts on the bottom. You introduce yourself and say your important cause. I'm Kathy, and I really, really care about hunger in Los Angeles. What do I do with the next floor? I've got to say something that's going to do what? Grab them. I call it shock and awe. You've got to shock and awe them. So you shock and all. It works so well, you do it the next time. You shock and all into something they didn't know. I did it over there for a moment. I said, did you know in a plastic water bottle, a plastic water bottle uses about this much oil to make that plastic bottle. Whoa. You say something people don't know to grab their attention. And then you it did so well, you do it again. And then on the fourth floor, it's time to tell them, we're doing this. We've got a campaign to place reusable water bottles with single-use water bottles. And we want this to go viral around Los Angeles for the water crisis. And then what's the fifth floor? The ask. Ask, ask for money, ask for time, ask for involvement, ask for whatever you can, but don't let them leave without that ask. That's what you need to do. So to give you a taste, see if you can put together an elevator pitch in three minutes. I know you can. Try. Just do it. 